What's up everyone? Welcome back to Crown Stag VoiceOver. My name is Neil Glasgow. So in today's Before You Buy, I'm going to be covering Mandy.com. Now, if this is your first video on my Before You Buy series, this is where I give you some ups and downs of the platform, what I think works well, where I think they might be able to improve, and ultimately just give you a flavour for what you could enjoy or experience using this type of platform. Now, full disclosure, I'm not sponsored by Mandy in any way, I'm not affiliated with them in any way, and I'm not going to give any negative reviews based on any bad experiences I've had or any bad experiences anyone I know's had. This is simply to give you an idea of how the platform works and what you could get out of the platform if you invest your time. So, with that in mind, let's get into it. So the basic concept of Mandy is that a client will post a job. Uh, they will say they're looking for a mail. It will be in this particular area. This is the type of project that I'm working on. And you will be able to see it much like a, a job board and be able to apply for that role. That role may have an audition they want you to do. It may just be a generic sample. But ultimately, you've got a bit of control on how it is that you apply for those jobs. That's that's kind of how Mandy works. So my first up for the platform is that they actually provide a pretty decent variety of jobs for you to apply for. The types of roles that I tend to see tend to be commercial work and um, they do do everything from IVR and character work and audiobooks they've got the whole gambit but by and large the things that I see are commercial projects and they're fairly well paying commercial projects to to to, to give it to them I've rarely seen anything below a hundred pounds and being that Mandy is a UK based platform I'm going to be talking for once about pounds rather than dollars the average job I see tends to be anywhere between a hundred and five hundred pounds plus any commercial or usage rights that might be thrown in there but that's not bad going considering what the platform actually offers so yeah I'll give that one an up my next up is that Mandy does quite a good job of investing in the industry now, they run uh, several competitions, but, but uh, a major competition once to twice a year. And that competition is aimed at various areas of voiceover. You could go for commercial work or character work, whatever that might be. You do uh, a, a test read that everyone does in the best style that you think you can do it in. And that goes out and it gets judged and reviewed and ultimately awarded. They invest in industry awards for you as a voiceover artist and along with the awards you get they give you uh, essentially industry benefits it might be coaching sessions it might be discounting on equipment it might be equipment itself but i find that quite a refreshing approach to the industry that actually they're trying to set a standard of behavior and a standard of activity that you can actually use and say look i, I worked on this platform i was awarded this and people will recognize the quality that comes out of that that's an up definitely another up that i will definitely award to the platform is they offer you quite a lot of bang for your buck and um, they provide a lot of resources that you can tap into as a voiceover artist and i'm talking about things like forums and guides some of the things that other sites will absolutely offer but the thing that I really like about Mandy is they actually give you an agency directory. And one of the things that new and upcoming talent are always looking for and are always asking the questions about where do I go to for representation? How do I find clients that I can maybe tap into? Where do I send my demo to? Well, Mandy actually has an agent directory. And it's not just a list of agencies and names. They actually keep it fairly up to date, even to the point where they'll say, according to our latest records or our latest contacts, whatever that might be, this agency is open for new clients or their books are closed or whatever that might be. But that's something that you don't see on many platforms. And yeah, I think as a new and upcoming voiceover artist, if you're still looking to get that representation, that's a brilliant resource to be able to tie into. So yeah, good on you, Mandy. That's an up. My next up, Mandy actually uploads to your profile all of the demos that you record for the jobs that you go for. Now, they allow up to about 30, I think it is, demos on your profile. And it's quite a handy thing to be able to 
have your profile and upload any samples and demos that you want to have on there, but also that it keeps a running tally of the demos that you do have that you can refer as use to potentially another job. Some clients will just ask for a sample or something that's similar to what it is that they're looking for. And if you have that on hand, Mandy's already provided you that resource. Now, as I say, it only allows you to have 30, which does mean that you have to eventually do a bit of admin. But I suppose what, for me, that encourages is you keeping your profile fresh, which I think that's by design from Mandy. So... Yeah, again, they're doing quite a lot there to help you as a voiceover artist and encouraging good behaviours. That's an up. And another up for Mandy is they don't have a barrier of experience to be able to join the network. Now, you may say, OK, well, that's just a free for all. That's open to everybody. And that's not really the case. And the reason why I'm giving it an, an up is that Mandy do quite a lot to support and help and develop and grow new voiceover artists, as well as experienced voiceover artists. There's resources all over the place for it. But again, it demonstrates that investment and that collaborative nature that you really want to see more of in the industry, of people who want to get into this are no less deserving than other people who, you know, have degrees in theatre, whatever that might be. So again, I'll give that to Mandy that they are putting that investment in and for a fairly low bar to, to pass, the inexperienced can quickly gain experience. That's an up. One more up for Mandy, doing a few of these. The demos that you can upload that get automatically put to your profile Mandy actually give you the facility to record directly onto the platform. Now, this is of benefit if you don't have a DAW, a, a DAW, which you should. If you don't, get one. There are free ones out there, but you should absolutely have a DAW as a professional artist. But if you don't have one, it falls over, whatever the case may be. Mandy actually gives the facility to record the demo directly onto the platform for your audition. Now, it doesn't give you any editing capability, so you're going to have to get it perfect first time. But again, that's just another little bonus that I think is quite good that they provide. So, yeah, another up. Another up for Mandy is they actually encourage, when I say encourage because they can't mandate, the client to respond to each and every audition submitted. And I have to say that I get probably far more responses, positively or negatively, via Mandy than I do on any other website that, that is of this type. And again, I quite like that because it, it is encouraging a good working relationship and actually just good industry practice to be able to respond to the people who are auditioning for your work. And whether they and whether they hire you for this job or another job down the line, it's quite beneficial and important to start building that relationship aspect. So again, that Mandy actually puts that into part of their client requirements, I think it's a good thing. That's an up. And my last up for Mandy is the amount of jobs and opportunities that they provide you as a voiceover artist. Now let me differentiate that for you as it does on the platform. Jobs are paid auditions that are available, paid work that you can go for. Opportunities are normally unpaid work. And the reason that you might want to go for some of the unpaid work is not that it's easier to get into or there's any less competition or anything like that. But with the unpaid work, I suppose there's a, a lower barrier for entry. And a review is still a review and work is still work. I always say this, work leads to work. And if you start to develop a name for yourself on the platform and do some of these free projects and build your repertoire, your experience, your profile on the platform and actually with these people who might not have a budget now, but you never know where they're going to go down the line. Again, I think that's quite good. It adds some extra credibility to you and to the platform that it, it all feeds back into each other. You support me, I support you, you know, client, candidate, they're all working together and that's all done through the ethos of Mandy. Yeah, I, I think that's another 
up. And so I come to the downs. And Mandy's got a couple of them, to be fair. So Mandy bills itself as a free-to-join platform. And there are numerous benefits that you can tap into on your free membership. And that's everything from networking and jobs and all sorts of lovely stuff that they entice you in with. And the free platform feels underwhelming at best, I would say. The free element of the platform is time limited and it essentially feels uh, very much like a shop window. Here's the access to all the lovely things that you can have once you pay your membership. And the membership isn't extortionate, to be perfectly honest. It's a hundred and something pounds a year. I mean, it's it's certainly not as expensive as some of the other pay-to-play platforms. And the reason I'm giving this a down is Mandy, to get the best out of it, is not a free platform. And while there are no limitations to what you can do while you're on your free trial, it is a free trial. And that's not how they build themselves to start off with. So take it with a pinch of salt, but I am going to give that a down. My next down for Mandy is actually their search categorization, their search function that, that they use. It's okay. It's not particularly robust. Now, what I mean by this is Mandy will post jobs, uh, one job a day, 100 jobs a day. It's kind of boom and bust on Mandy. And that's not Mandy's fault. That's what's happening in the market. That's just how the clients work. They don't guarantee any number of jobs a day. But the jobs that you do see may not be remotely relevant for you as the voiceover artist. And what I mean by that is they might post the job, uh, male voiceover artist needed. And when you look into it, they'll say, I want a deep voice, particularly someone of African descent or of Spanish descent. Great. They, they absolutely are running the full spectrum of the available styles and jobs and everything that's out there. Everyone absolutely is represented. But for me, do I want to see jobs that... I can't apply for? Do I want to see jobs that have no relevance for me, given that I pay a membership? And given that Mandy has, you know, tens of thousands strong membership um, roster, and if everyone's paying their particular style of membership, and there are, there are a couple styles of memberships, it feels like a very small tweak to your algorithm, given that you are paying for something. If I only see one job a day, I want it to be relevant for me. So, yeah, that's a down. And that's kind of it. I really struggled to think of a lot of downs for Mandy. And, you know, I said at the top of this, I'm not sponsored by Mandy at all, but they're kind of doing it right. Should you invest your time in Mandy? Yeah, if you can afford it. If you can afford the membership, I'd say you get a lot of bang for your buck, as I said before. I think what they give you in terms of resources and uh, access to agents, as well as the jobs that you can apply for and the way that the portal is is set up, yeah, I, I wouldn't have any concerns about recommending Mandy as a platform. Mandy does have a couple of downs, as I've mentioned, but they're hardly the worst that I've ever come across. And certainly my positive impressions about the platform outweigh the negatives, hands down. So for the first time that I can categorically say, would I recommend a platform and not let you make the decision? Yeah, I'd, I'd definitely recommend Mandy, which I don't do lightly, actually. Well, Thanks for sticking with me. If you found this video helpful at all, please leave me a like and subscription and a comment is always welcome. If you have any other platforms that you'd like me to do a before you buy on, drop me a link in the comments below and I'll certainly do one for you. Remember, you can absolutely be a voiceover artist. I'll see you in the next video.